What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the one and only voicemail dump truck. The show where we take your dumps, we bring them into our lab for testing, uh, analysis, uh, blood work, the whole nine yards. We answer them, we nourish them, we cherish them, we, we raise them to be better versions of ourselves. Do we not, folks? My name is Jeff Bacalar, and this is your show for April 11th, 2024. Truly, um, some would call a glorious day, because I am joined by a wondrous crew of fine gentlemen. First up, Jan Ochoa, how are you? I, uh, my flight got re my flight home got redirected to Vegas, and I somehow survived. We will unpack that lie in just a bit. Uh, Mike Minotti on the show to answer for his crimes. How are you? I'm going to jail. <laughs> That's the exact energy you would have on your way to prison. <laughs> I'm going to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a fun new experience. <laughs> what a cool new ride. Uh, <laughs> finally, welcoming back to the program. Um, I mean, look, quite frankly, to help improve our cool dude quota, uh, the one and only Kurt Indovina. How are you? I didn't even wear my bolo tie for that compliment. <laughs> You should have. We, but we did hit the bolo tie quota in the pre-show there. So you were, we you were very uh, on point there. So appreciate. I can wear the. Candor. I can wear the white one next time, so you can oh. see the priest, the cool Western priest energy that I give off. Do you have a voice for that bolo tie? <clears throat> he does. He does. He's clearing his throat. Hi. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. I would mistake Ooh. you for a priest or a clergyman. Ooh! Ooh. I uh, the, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie A Dead of Night. It's, a, it's an old old timey flick from 1955. But the main uh, villain guy in it is basically like a preacher uh, who manipulates this entire town. And he's got this these tattoos on one on each hand. One says love, and one says hate. And he's got this whole like speech he gives every single time about like the power of love versus hate. That's that's. Uh, I, I'm not saying I'm that guy, but yeah, I think what, you that's are. That's what I think of when I think of uh, if I were to walk into a room looking like a priest. That's I, I you know, I, I don't I, want to embody that person, but it, it's there. I knew someone who actually got those knuckle tattoos, and we were he was we a were preacher. All, we were all upset. The love and hate. Uh, oh, love and hate on the knucks. Yeah, uh, yeah, they went for it. They really went for it. I don't know. Yeah, it's four about letters each. And I see you counting. Jim, I was just like just, looking of like how to like. Which one would I have where? You know, do I want uh, love okay. on the dominant? You want them hand? intertwined so you can. Oh, on your... <laughs> uh, I like no. that. Oh no, that is yeah. a good question from chat, Mike. Was it the Poop City Slamma Jamma guy? Nope, not the Poop City Slamma Jamma guy. I'm afraid. Okay, okay. I, get, I, I, I talk about anybody from my real life. The first question I get is, is that the Poop City Slamma yeah. Jamma guy? In the same way, any story that you have to tell obviously has Involves an origin in Disney, Disney. World. Like, <laughs> what's the problem? Come and on. When was the last time you killed a man? Exactly. Well, yeah, so I'm going question. to jail. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm about to be in prison. Yeah. Um, OJ Simpson is dead. Rest in piss. Well, uh, yep. The dump truck, your <laughs> number one source for celebrity gossip and uh, death. <laughs> uh, we have killed many celebrities on the show, but we don't plan on doing that today. What I do want to talk about is Jan Ochoa uh, coming face to face with the city of Las Vegas and how he survived. Tell us your ordeal. Tell us how it went down. I want to know more. So uh, I, I spent a week in Philadelphia for wrestling, and it was great. I think I love Philadelphia now. Uh, it's a good city. I change, highly, but go highly on. recommend. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, but sure. at the end of it, I was very tired from watching all of the wrestling. And speaking about tattoos, real quick. Yeah. Would either of you guys, if you were at like a fan event for mm. the WWE, where they are offering tattoos, would you get a tattoo there at WrestleMania? Because they were offering that. And so, of course not. Yeah, well, like, obviously that's the knee-jerk response. Like, of course not. I'm an adult. <laughs> but my question is, like, can you say this in a way that I could maybe be excited about it? Because no offense to the wrestling world, I used to be one of you. I'm no longer one of you. You're free now. Make, make yeah. me understand. You got your tattoo removed. 
<laughs> yeah, like make me understand how this would be a thing for me. Uh, I don't know. A lot of modern pinball. wrestlers are all like, yeah, pinball. Huh? I do what have if a it was pinball a pinball. Tattoo? What a sweet but I have pinball a pinball event. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, what if you were an event at a, yeah, s- a sick it, pinball event and somebody I, was like, hey, buddy, I'm going to give you a, a pinball tattoo for free? If it's in the doodle zone, like 100%. 100%. It's the doodle zone. The, the doodle thigh. zone, Kurt, is anywhere between the waist and like the, the knee. And this is your designated doodle zone. Eh, zone. Most doodlers uh, agree. Ten, nine out right. of ten doodlers agree that okay. right. the doodle zone exists there. You know? So yeah, I'd get one there for sure. Getting a I'm tattoo sorry. is like, don't you want to like, you know, really think about that? Like research the person mm. giving you the tattoo? No? You just In the doodle zone, it. no no rules, baby. You know? And that's also like you lack the context of people who like already have tattoos and embrace tattoos and like sure. are part of tattoo culture. If right. they're given the opportunity to get a tattoo and like, you know, for so many people who have tattoos, like that is a mark in which they have a, a, a life period. I have a tattoo. Just, mm-hmm. just yeah, look at that. That's uh, not a doodle zone. Yeah, well, on your it is. My whole body is. A, <laughs> oh my god! No, no, no. <laughs> Never mind. I probably should do that. Yeah, my, as far as I'm concerned, sharing. my whole body, my whole body is a doodle zone. I just haven't had any doodles I want to be doodled with. Doodle. Fair with. enough. But you know, I could I could see it being an opportunity, which would be like, I'll remember this moment. Give oh, me yeah. your WW. Yeah, uh, Dan. Tattoo. Dan was asking how much uh, someone would have to pay me to get a neck tattoo. Um, a la Cody Rhodes, and I'm like, mm, dude, that's I have to, have to keep be, it. You have to be kind of set for life with I that. Mean, you can't get it like removed. A, well, it just yeah. costs under under a his, lot of money. Under Dan's rules, I could never get it removed yeah. if I wanted mm. to keep the money. Yeah, I have to be set for life is the kind of money I would have to get for that because, like, I'll, I'm gonna be the neck tattoo guy forever. It's gonna yeah. really limit my like possibilities in life. Getting and, that. and I was I, explaining to Dan of like, you know, like I can't. Like, I would have to become, like, a turtleneck guy, and I yeah. have a thick That's head. That's fine. Well, but I don't think I can pull off turtlenecks well. I, I'd really maybe hot. go for, like, uh, being a scarf guy. And you can't be a scarf guy in the summer. Um, no, you can't. I mean, look, Minotti, I think you're good with the, the neck one, though, because you're like me, and you kind of have no neck. So I yeah. feel like... Yes, it's been, I have a goatee right now, uh, and, like, the, the no-neckness is out of control. Yeah, yeah I mean, you your goatee grow, starts at your clavicle. Yeah. <laughs> grow the neck beard. Neck oh. beard, yeah. Can I get a is. tattoo of a neck? What? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, going to back, back to the, to the plane story. So I was sitting in the very back of the plane. Um, I didn't choose to have the seat, but I was in the very back, and I thought, like, oh, okay, cool, well... Uh, I guess it'll be quiet if I got to go use the bathroom. It's right there. Um, and uh, I just didn't factor in that everyone would be heading to the back to use the bathroom. Mm. And halfway through the flight, I'm halfway through season 19 of Top Chef Austin. It's uh-huh. great. I'm so invested. Yeah. Um, and then uh, uh, one of the flight attendants says to one of the guests waiting for the restroom, hey, the restrooms aren't flushing back here. Go try and use the one in the middle of the plane. That mm. person comes back to the flight attendant and goes like, yo, that one also is not flushing. And then the flight attendant just goes like, well, if it's number one and you don't mind, it'll drain. Oh, fuck. You heard this whole conversation, dude? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, man, okay. And then, um, you know, as this is happening, more there's there's like a bottleneck growing of folks that got to use the bathroom. That's a good word for it. Yeah. Um, and then, like, the message gets passed along the daisy chain there of, like, hey, it's not flushing. Like, it depends what you got to do. And, you know, being right next to the bathrooms, it's a bad time because you're picking up whiffs of uh, oh. people's... People's number oh one. Boy. Oh. This sounds like a real literal shitty flight, but like, how long was it? Like, yeah, I'm, like, good question. Good question. Because uh, I hold, because like, like I, flight. depending on what that flight is, like, I ain't, I ain't using the, I ain't gonna. Yeah. Well, yeah. Who takes a all. shit on a plane? I'll, I'll just say that right now. Actually. I think I, I did out of desperation. Yeah, sure. if you have to, like, I don't I think my body to. just knows that's not happening. No, um, absolutely Mikey, not. I'm with you, bud. And m- nine times out of ten, my stomach is like, we're in this together. Everyone on deck. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No one left behind, right? For yeah. sure. But there's times where, like, yeah. the, the walls, the dam breaks. Um, how far into this? Like a six-hour flight, Jen, right? Like, how yeah, far into six-hour flight. This is... How far in? This is... 
two hours away from home. Oh, oh that's just too far. This is two hours away from home. And then uh, the flight attendant starts telling people, hey, you can't use the bathroom anymore because it's full. Oh, God. And uh, the flight attendant goes on to do like a garbage service walking down the aisles. And then these and people shitting their pants. <laughs> people shit into her garbage. They're, they're puke bags. <laughs> and then these people that know that the bathroom is full because the flight attendant and the captain made an announcement over the PA. You see these fucking people sneaking off to the bathroom to have sneaky leaks. Oh no! Wait, well, where's it wait, going? wait! What's going on in the Philly diet? That like everyone. Oh, boy. <laughs> Philly no. getting all this hey, what were they eating at the airport? Let's go I don't know. Here. And the thing was, like, it, this was an early flight. You know, I would have assumed people emptied themselves beforehand for an I 8 a.m. flight. The yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so I don't shit on the plane. <laughs> and then, like, we're in now, we're, 30 minutes have elapsed now, and we're an hour and a half away from home. And I'm like, okay, I can bear with this, like, knowing that there's pee and poop. Yeah, like, it's the smell. Cradling behind me and everything. The, the, the doors, as long as they stay closed, are doing a good job at keeping the smell locked in. Mm -hmm. People just keep going back when the they're flight doing... attendants are away. And, and, this, and, and, and are the flight attendants, like, do, are they, like, responding? They're like, or are they hey, trying to... like, you can't. And then it you... became such an issue where, like, you know, they're telling people you can't use the restroom. The captain has to get involved now. And oh, the captain fuck. goes, ladies and gentlemen, um... We have uh, just gotten word that the lavatories are full. It turns out that the plane was not serviced in Philadelphia. Um, <gasps> and we were reaching capacity. So we're going to have to divert the plane and make an emergency landing to get the plane serviced. Oh, my God. Uh, please oh my God. do not use the restroom. Uh, if you can contain yourselves, just just hold it, please. He said hold. He said the word phrase hold it. Yes. I like you're his children. Just oh. put a plug in it. <laughs> He's so like, he's like, no more poo poo or pee pee. We Anywhere? are caca, so, no doo doo. <laughs> we are so close to home, and I'm so tired. Like I could barely walk the second day of WrestleMania because my shoes just killed me. Because it's like a dumbass. I brought boots, uh. um, <laughs> and so I I missed where he said we were landing. I'm upset because I was thinking. Oh, you didn't even know. I didn't know where we were landing because he said like, oh, we're just gonna go south. And I Far thought, like, oh shit. Where, the, where are we going? I'm so close to home. And then he tells us, like, uh, all right, everyone, we're going to have to deplane uh, because you all need to get off so we can service this plane. I'm like, you're kidding me. I have to pull my luggage down and we have to go through this whole boarding process you, again. You had to take your carry on off? Yeah. Oh. So with you. it had to go with us just because they don't want to be liable for anything that gets sure, stolen. Sure. Uh, and, uh, I get off the plane, I'm like very groggy, I'm upset, and I'm annoyed, and I'm like, where are we? And I oh. look up, and I hear the clink, 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 yeah, clink, 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 buddy. And lo and behold, we are in Las Vegas of all places. Oh, that's you had, you had, amazing, you had, though. To play a, you had to play a machine a little bit, come on, put it in a I've, 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 Look, I have won 80 bucks at that airport. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. Off a single quarter at a slot machine, however... I've also spent way too much time at that airport because not only do I go to Vegas often for fun, mm. but every single time I try going home to San Francisco, our flight is fucking delayed and I've spent 14 hours there before in the time oh which I could have rented a car and driven home. Oh, yeah, so God. I have a little different context for why I was like, <laughs> I'll sit down, I'll play some slots. <laughs> yeah. I, so I was under the assumption, I, I, I decided not to at first, you know, I took a fun for picture. Because okay. I thought it'd be a speedy process, right? Yeah, like, did the they plane? give you an estimate? Like, what was the deal? Where you're like, hey, how long is this going to take? Like, what was the situation? Uh, our guy, board? You saw a guy going in there with a plunger, like, oh, this is going to be a while. Did you see the Mario Brothers? Like, just <laughs> so our boarding pass got updated saying, like, all right, uh, you're going to reboard the plane in, like, 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's I guess yeah. that's super fast. And then it kept getting pushed yeah. back mm, more it and kept more. kept finding more shit. Yeah. It turns out yeah, there are the shit seats all over these walls. In between, in between the seats. <laughs> so I'm like trying to figure out, like, oh, do I do I eat? Do I just like sit here? Like, what is the useful thing? And then I, I get word like, hey, it's delayed by one and a half hours now, mm. y'all. I'm like, all right, well, I have this twenty dollar twenty dollar bill in my pocket. Let's oh. just spin a win, baby. Spin to win. Spin to win. I got up. I got very up. 
and then I was like, I should get out of here. I, I, I hit the Wheel of Fortune machine. You I did? spun the wheel. Come on. Dad, you want to spin that wheel? It, I, it spun in my favor, and then I couldn't get out. What, what was the furthest you were up? What was the highest you were up? We 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 got we we got up to five hundred dollars. Uh, oh, damn! What are you waiting for? What else do you think's gonna happen? Uh, I thought we spin more. Yeah, no. This is a this is a tale as old as time, folks. Damn. This is and a then, tale like, as old you know, as time. Like da Daddy needed his fix. I'm like, yeah. well, no, I can get up, I can get back up there. Don't well, tell me you how? ended up losing money in Vegas. It sounds like he lost. It sounds like he lost two hundred. It sounds like he lost twenty dollars. Is really what he lost. I lost twenty dollars. <laughs> God. No, listen. Shucks. I, how far into the run were you up five hundred? Oh, uh, my partner just walked in and just gave me a look. Uh, uh, I didn't tell her this yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a fun way to find out. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Man, she's like, Jeff Grubbs over there winning $10,000. Yeah. And here's my man. <laughs> On a $9 bet. <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. Uh, 10 look. minutes. And then I got up. Oh, she's writing something on a whiteboard. I feel scared. Now. It's the worst. It's that's the worst time to be up. Like everyone knows that, right? Yeah. Whatever. So I sadly just went to the Dunkin' Donuts nearby and just had a couple munchkins. You could have yeah, bought. No, you, you lost bought bought that bucks. Dunkin' Donuts. You yeah. could have bought. Yeah, the entire. You could have bought the people who worked there. <laughs> At least it was only twenty bucks. Ultimately, exactly. Yes. Yeah. All the yeah. rest was just make believe possibilities. Yeah. 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 None of that money was up. real. It's house yeah. money. It was called house money. Yeah. yeah. Hope you didn't get any coffee. Coffee's for winners or whatever. He says. Oh well, I, I treated myself to a coffee because I wasn't paying yeah. for the coffee. So that was the extent of your gambling. You got back on the plane and everything's good. Yep. 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 Uh, my partner is now uh, nodding her head. She wrote something on a whiteboard. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, Listen, pulling out a different is. color. Go I back to that airport and get our money back. <laughs> yeah, right. You walk right back. Listen, honestly, if there's one airport to kind of be stuck in, I guess McCarran is like not the worst place to be. Um, number two, well, number two, I think we learned the lesson that you just shouldn't sit next to a, a, a bathroom on a plane, folks. Like, don't, if you can pick your seat, don't do it. I avoid oh. that like the plague. I hate sitting next to bathrooms. I'm always on the window seat sleeping. It doesn't matter where you put me. Lucky, lucky, lucky Mike over here. Yeah. How well, you can you sleep take, on a You plane. take pills, you see. They help. Oh, yeah, Performance-enhancing drugs. drugs. Get that Dramamine. Did you learn any other lessons, Jan, or are you in, like, timeout now? What's happening? Uh, no, I, I was looking at my phone. Uh, sorry. Uh, I No other lessons other than the Las Vegas airport is, like, constantly busy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, and, sure. Like, Maybe it's right there on the strip. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it was insane. Uh, it was a fun microcosm just being there for a second of like all these people uh, that some of them are wearing wrestling shirts and sure. you know that they're also mm. tired from the weekend. But like I, I saw a couple people wearing like various wrestling paraphernalia circling around the, the slot machines like someone mm. with a championship belt looking around mm. thinking like, hmm. I might, I might try gonna, some stuff too. I'm gonna do some damage yeah. here. Yeah. Shit. I All thought right. you were gonna say they were gonna wrestle the winners. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, the wrestling fans don't actually know how to wrestle. Don't worry. No, no. not they very physical attack. people. They can't hurt anybody. <laughs> oh, apparently it's it's Harry Reid International now. It's not McCarran anymore. I didn't uh, know. I that. Yeah, when you Harry said Reed, that, yeah. I didn't know what you were talking about. But maybe yeah, I didn't know I that. Know. Huh? Did did not know that. Interesting. Okay, I learned something. Yeah. Um. So uh, before we get into the business uh, of, of our show, I did have something I wanted to present to the group and perhaps the larger audience and uh, for some guidance, advice, whatever, insight, whatever it is. Uh, later in the month is uh, Bring Your Child to Work Day. And uh, my wife, my oh, wife, wow. last night uh, said to me, she said, you know, what can you do for Dib? Can you bring him to work? And I was just like, what do you mean, lady? Like, what do you want me to do? Bring him to, like, a Zoom meeting? Like, what, do you want me to put him on a podcast? Like, what, what are we doing? So I ask you, my friends, and also chats and listeners and everyone around, we have a couple weeks to figure this out. Please leave a voicemail about it. What, can, is there a situation where we can realistically bring my kid to work day? Just have him hang out in your room. Is that it? Is that just it? Like I mean, it's could, but they can't leave. You can't leave. 
<laughs> just gonna make him make copies of something, you know? Like have, have him back. have him do the clap sync. There you go. <laughs> That's easy enough. Do the intro for the show. Yeah, be, that would be cool. Uh, Lord Cow uh, says he should host Game Mest Morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Careful. Have, him, have him host that with the grub. That's a dangerous job. <laughs> that is a dangerous job. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, I mean. Would we be cool with that? Like, is that weird? I feel like that's oh weird. Right? Who's, like who's probably like the best cast of characters to help support Dylan in a, in a podcast or a well, Do you want Dan there or not? No, obviously do not want Dan there. That's not even, <laughs> it's like a non-starter. <laughs> Dan uh, versus Dib, though. All right, know. we'll figure it out. We'll figure we'll it out. We'll just get all the I young I mean, you're people. the parent. No, I, mean, I know. As, but what, like, what I mean by that is like, you know, you have to, if it feels weird, you know. I Listen think, to your yeah, parents. thank you, Kurt. That, that's comforting. I do think it maybe feels a little weird, but, like, also, the other parent was like, put him in a thing. Do something with him. And I'm like, uh, I, I don't know what you're asking me right have now. You asked, have you asked Dylan? <laughs> no, it's not up to him. He's got no fucking... <laughs> what if Dylan says something that gets us canceled? Honestly, it's a coin toss. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're saying on the schoolyards anymore these days. Oh, it's all, you know, it's it's a lot of stuff that you, you would actually probably do okay. I think you would understand For everything. Me? Oh, yeah. yeah, I get along. Yeah, the kid's great. Yeah, yeah, I think you, I don't think anything would I go I think the kids often fight me immature and insufferable. Right, right, right. Gotcha. Um, it's true. It is all Riz and Drip. Um, okay. As you can tell, as you've been able to suss out this far, this is a call-in show. 707 exit flu is our phone number. Uh, we, we invite everyone to leave a voicemail and hopefully your junk gets played on our junk. We're going to start with uh, our very special guest today, Kurt uh, Indovina. Please pick the first voicemail, sir. There, there is two that, uh, not maybe because they're high on the list, but I, um, I'm torn between. Here, let's do this. I'm thinking okay. of a number one or two. <laughs> two. Oh, best friends. Two. Everyone else? Two. Mike? Yes. Two. 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 Sorry. Two. I screamed okay. two at the same exact time. All right. Clothing red flags. All right. Jan, I'm sorry. This is the fourth time I've called. Daniel from Fargo. Uh, regarding the flat brim curved bill uh, conversation last week. That I'm here for. So a flat cap, if the person was regard was talking about this specific hat, a flat cap is like your old newsboy, like your Irishman hat or your your backwards jazz sexophonist. That's not how you say that. Um sax player? Anyways, that's a that hat is a huge red flag for one of my friends. She hates flat caps. So what is one of your clothing red flags? Okay, I love you, bye. Bolo ties! <laughs> Bolo oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. First of all, I, like, this is such a strange way to get into back into this conversation. Because I don't, like, no one was ever confusing the type of hat that Jan was wearing with our very specific baseball cap, flat brim hat conversation. Thank you, caller, but also, I think you might be confused. Um, Somebody might have been confused. Yeah, there was it, a lot of confused people on this show. I get it. There was an earthquake. Um, <laughs> okay. For me, the biggest red flag you could possibly do is wearing jeans and flip-flops. If you're wearing jeans mm. and you're wearing flip-flops, I've judged you. I've judged you by uh, your cover, and it ain't, it ain't in your what favor, What kind of flip-flops? Or is it like oh, slip ons Yeah, are we talking thong style? Yeah, yeah. Like, I hate that thong like, style. Like, I can't like, do it. I can't thongs. have that little yeah, thing like, I, in between yeah. my toes. That's so. Ugh. Okay, well that's you. That's a you problem. I, look, that's fine when you're wearing this. shorts, but like if you're mm. wearing jeans, and then you're also simultaneously like, oh, now's the time to put on flippy floppies. I there's there's no hope. I'm sorry. That is a huge red flag for me. Okay. I mean, I don't think you should wear flip flops unless you have the objective to go to, like, I'm going to the pool. The pool, sure. I'm, I'm already at the beach and I'm yeah. wearing shorts. Would I judge you for wearing flip flops and jeans? There's a lot more context that's needed for the rest of the outfit. 
Oh, okay. So what do you need? I'll, let's let's lay it out. What, oh, do, you, what else do you know. need to know? There's there's a lot. Like when you talk when the, with the kids, the kids these days, they talk about the Riz. Is that the yeah, thing, right? yeah, yeah. Tell me about the Riz. <laughs> what what other Riz is there? It's not just like it's how you wear it. It's like sure. how the how the jeans are being worn. What kind of jeans are they? And then what kind of like purse, like the silhouette are you of a person? Mm. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let me put it like That's this: uh, tank top, <laughs> ripped jeans, and flippy floppies. That's a look. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm with okay. you, How do they speak? How do they yeah. talk? Yeah. How do they talk? <laughs> they say, ah, I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that outfit would land you in jail. I, uh, I've seen uh, that on Cops before. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Um, all right, Jan, what's a no-go? What's a red flag? Uh, no-go? I feel like I'm pretty loosey-goosey with whatever folks want to wear. You are, but it feels good to uh, call out a certain thing and be uh, mad at it. I guess I really just det okay. I detest mm. very oh, so long, detest. long okay. jeans that are like super scratched up and ragged at like the bottom hem. Of like, okay. just buy different pants. And so, uh, but the thing is, I was guilty of this for the longest time. Who amongst us, right? Come you on, you know. That was um, the thing you like. You, you sort of strive for at some point. You know, yeah. you're like. Hopefully these will get all fucked up down there, and that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle scars of some sort, you know? I don't yeah. like the look or the silhouette, while we're talking about silhouettes, of skate shoes. I, they're too chunky. Me neither. They're chunky yeah. boys. Always yeah. have the, been. What's the, um, the Nike, like the, the big chunky Nikes that the, the uh, what are they called? S at, SBs? Yeah, the are SBs they? are the skateboard shoes. Oh. No, but as, like, there's like the other... God damn it, I can't remember. There's like this one Nike that all the kids in school wore, and they had this... Air the, Jordans. The, no. I don't, I don't like Jordans either, uh, but I mean, I got a thing for big... I also don't like chunky silhouettes, so I'm with, mm. I'm with Jan. Some of those chunky shoes are like kind of back. Like chunky sneakers are back in a weird way that I, like, I don't... I'm not on board with like those new balances now that are all oh. chunkified. Like it's just not for me. It's okay. I'm not mad at them. It's just not for me. You're just disappointed. I just I I like I'm like an Adidas Ultra Boost guy through and through. Like I need okay. socky shoes. I need my shoes to be socks with laces on them. I go back and forth on this other one, but uh, leather tabby shoes. So they look like the ninja like feet. Box mm. toe box. Okay, yeah. Um, leather dressy versions of those. I go back and forth on. I don't know okay. if I've ever seen dressy versions. It, it's, the, the Kurt, they're everywhere now. I saw them in the streets of San Francisco, and I'm like, look at those. Hmm. Interesting. Well, when I think fashion, I think Mike Minotti. So, <laughs> are, do you have do, do you have any red flags? No. Look, uh, what I. I Wearing graphic tees and jeans like almost every day. I'm not gonna be like, well, if a person wears wrong, this, yeah. they're an asshole. Nah, I don't care. Whatever. Hey, those are timeless, you know. For me, yeah. like black t-shirt and jeans, you're gonna be fine for the rest of time. Sure. For all sure. eternity. I definitely um, was wearing more Hawaiian shirts. It's gonna be a uh, warm enough for that stuff again, at least. That's always fun. Ooh, no, it's about Disney. You'll yell at me. <laughs> yeah. So good. This is called right getting a, out in front of it. Right. We're we're yeah. we're catching it before it becomes a problem. So that's there growth. You Thank you, Mike. You're uh, with that, you've been rewarded the next choice of voicemail. Kingdom Hearts three. This <laughs> fucking guy. Hi, dump truck. Uh, quick question: um, What is the general consensus? I'm just just looking to get a temperature check on the Kingdom Hearts series. Uh, giant bomb now. I feel like it's on an upward traje trajectory with Mike Minotti and Jan and, I don't know, are, oh. is the Giant Bomb like pro Kingdom Hearts? What, how, how are we feeling? Yeah. I don't know. I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Not bad. <laughs> anyway, love you. Have a great day. Drive safe. Bye-bye. Yep, you you're hearing it from me right now. GiantBomb.com is officially a... Pro Kingdom Hearts website. That's it. And discussion. I'm not against that. I have no horse in this race, but like, whatever. I, I think what pushes this over the edge is that folks may not know this, but another Kingdom Hearts freak that has been skating underneath the surface is Lucy James. <gasps> oh, plot thickens. Let's go. Let's like, go. But, like, but I would, if, I mean, I would be interested to have Lucy in this room. And specifically sure. talk about Kingdom Hearts 3. 
Sure. Okay. okay. Kingdom Hearts three. three. Okay. Yeah. Look, three's not the best. Isn't that what it's called? Isn't that what? Isn't that what the? the it is the called thing? the voicemail. Yeah, is it's called, called Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah. So how can this this person's okay? Bless your heart, caller. I'm not. A, I'm not entirely a part of Giant Bomb, so I'm just a guest in, in this in this room. And consider me. Your, your, your uh, opinion uh, matters, though. Of course. Okay. Correct. Well. Well. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, you know, this caller was uh, hopefully looking for some validation. I think <laughs> in their in their own Kingdom Hearts love, and of course they played to the audience when it comes to Minati and Jan. Um, but he specified Kingdom Hearts three, and the moment that was mentioned, the tone in the room changed. Mm. Well, mm. Look, King, Kingdom Hearts three is a fun game, has very good combat, it has a lot of bullshit fluff. Uh, because they made a Kingdom Hearts 1, then they had, like, the cute GBA 1, then there's a Kingdom Hearts 2. Then they made, like, five other spin-offs that I think a lot of people thought, like, well, that's, like, the one on the DS, and that one's a mobile game and a browser game. I don't need to play those to know what's going on. Then it turns out you really did. So I think a lot of people just went from 2 to 3 are like, what is going on? Who the hell are... Why are there five other characters that look exactly like Sora? Uh, what... You know, I want more Donald and Goofy, right? But... It's still a pretty fun game. There's some great levels. Uh, I mean, gosh, they just put in uh, you know, uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It's a whole level in that game, and it actually kind of ruled. There's the open world stuff. Uh, oh, Donald Disney. Duck fucking dies from shooting a magic spell that's too strong for his little duck body. That's good <laughs> Are you stuff. spoiling? <laughs> yeah, the it's old now. It's fine. <laughs> is the, is the, uh, the one where the guy is having a therapy session... The, is that Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer? That was a, is that a thing that exists? Yeah, Kingdom Am Hearts 4, yeah, they, announced, they announced that a bit ago and haven't said much since. Okay. But that is coming. Yes, Kingdom Hearts 4. He's, he wakes up in like real, a more realistic uh, Japanese city of some kind. And then they look, they showed what is probably Endor. So, ooh, we're going to get Star Wars of Kingdom Hearts. There we go. All right, oh, I'm, 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 back. I'm off now. <laughs> and, and with that, I'm out. Um, no, I look. Uh, that sounds great. I, I just, I think, I think the conversation around Kingdom Hearts is arguably more important than the game itself, than the games itself. It, if that makes sense. I oh yeah, very... that's 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 how most people. That's that's what's wrong with most of everything. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, right. Like that eclipses uh, the the entire conversation. Like the the whole franchise. I, I am. A, I'm a little curious, like, because like people who hate Kingdom Hearts, they really hate Kingdom Hearts, and like. I obviously know why I really like Kingdom Hearts. Like, I get why people really hate Sonic. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of really well, bad Sonic games. That also makes sense, right? Like, you could, yeah. That, yeah, that's valid. Yeah, like, Kingdom Hearts games, even when they're the worst, they're, like, nowhere near, like, a Sonic 06 or a Sonic Boom or something like oh, that. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's there's a good, something about that's a good Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, there's something about Kingdom Hearts that uh, a, a good amount of people find insufferable. And I don't quite understand, but I, be, you know, I, I thought like I think they're disingenuous or something. Yeah, but it does I want to know how many hatred. those. I want to know how many of those people actually hate Kingdom Hearts have really played Kingdom Hearts, or well, if again, to Jeff's point, they hate the conversation around Kingdom Hearts. Sure, I think it's that. I think because yeah, you know, it's a fandom that gets very excited and they're very loud, so you have to hear about it a lot. It's like the people on this website when we talk about wrestling and they don't like wrestling, they get real mad, right? Because they just, you know, it's like, I don't care about this. Why do I, I feel like I'm forced to have to listen to this. So they get real I upset. think all that criticism is just coming from exclusively me. I don't think it, <laughs> I don't think it exists outside. I think I'm yeah. just the most vocal about it. And right. uh, that's where it stems from. Mm -hmm. um, well, thank you, caller. Uh, the debate rages on. Jan Ochoa, please choose the next voicemail. Uh, red wine. Hey, dumpers. Carter from Virginia here, just getting caught up on old episodes of the dump truck. I want to respond to Jan's question of why can't you refrigerate red wine? Long story short, you absolutely can. Don't listen to people that say you can't. That's a bunch of bullshit. Mm. Uh, also, you, the really the correct temperature is at cellar temperature, which is about 55 degrees, which is way colder than room temperature anyways. So if you got a red wine, stick it in the fridge for 30 minutes. It'll be great. That's all. Bye. Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Informational? Insightful? Does red wine give anyone else agita? What's, what's the, that? What's, what's agita? Yeah. What's agita with you? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Are we what? are we having the Ajita conversation? Now? Yes. I don't. You, I've never you heard. You brought that this up before, and I also had this question. 
Who was I just talking about Ajita with? Just tell me what it is. What are you, what are you, are you making a word up? No. <laughs> I think I was talking to Vinny about this. I think I was talking to Vinny about this. And I'm not sure if it was in a car, on the telephone. Yeah, not sure about either of those things. Ajita is like uh is like a sort of slang that just means pretty much heartburn. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. And pretty just much like why did I just call it heartburn? Feeling. Because yeah. Ajita's way cool. No, I don't know why. Um I think it has to do with like God, just that being case of the Ajita. Yeah, oh yeah, no, not, fantasy, no one has a stronger. case of the Ajita. <laughs> it's Ajitaga. But it's giving me good, Ajita. Good Mike. Good. How's the Ajita like, doing? No, uh how's <laughs> the Ajita? I don't know if you would ask yeah. how's the Ajita. Okay. You'd just be like, Oh, she can punch give me Ajita. God. You know? Yeah. It's just mm. I think I don't know if it's like it's either Italian or Yiddish. <laughs> like I mean, I'm not sure which, but it does uh uh sort of like circulate in that kind of like New York metropolitan area I culture mean, I'm from, conversation. I mean, I guess I'm not like, I spent a lot of time in New York City. I'm from New York State. A lot of that yeah. stuff trinkles down. Yeah. I know so it's more of a Unica you, dialect. So, so why don't you know what Ajita is, Kurt? Because I'm a fake New Yorker. Oh wait, someone some, yeah, so it does yeah, it is slang. Uh, yeah, it, that, wow, I was pretty spot on with the definition of it oh. circulating yeah, in. Yeah, it's just the I get it. It's that bad wine feeling you get because, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not a big wine drinker. It never sits great with me, and I get kind of messed up hangovers from it. Uh, I, I just am happier with beer or liquor, even. Yeah. I don't mind it. I like that. Yeah. Usually, if I'm drinking wine, it's because I'm cooking with it already, and then at that point, I'm like, uh, I should probably just finish this bottle instead of having to worry about, like, refrigerating it. And I always just forget it, and then, like, a month later, I'm dumping out nasty old wine into the sink. Yeah. I can't I, drink red wine anymore, and it kind of sucks. Oh, no. Why is, why is that? So this is a whole thing. No, I, if, it, if you don't mind sharing, whole things are what dump trucks are all it's about. It's basically, I'm going to dump some shit all over yeah. it. No, no, no. I, so, uh, I have always had a funky reaction to beer. Okay. It's like, it just, like, having a couple beers has way harder of an effect than it has to. Not, like, making me intoxicated, but, like, giving me headache, hangovers. And I used to drink. I used to love red wine. Um, but I don't know if it's old age or if it's the churning of the tides. The stars are aligning differently. But um, there's it's, it's messing with my body in such a way that I have a... I've always had, like, a weird allergy where I, like, have trouble breathing. I get red. Oh, shit. Okay. It's, it's rough. So, but yeah. uh, after a night in Japan... Of having a couple beers with Yoko, who owns a pussycat bar. It's called Pussycat. <laughs> she owns a pussycat bar. I got it. <laughs> yeah. In Shibuya. Um, no, maybe it was Shinagawa. Shinagawa. I woke up the next day feeling like I was hit by a truck, and I was like vomiting. I was like, what is going on? This cannot oh be happening God. right now. I stopped drinking beer. Sure. Fast forward a few weeks later. I'm having a whole damn plate of cheese. I'm having mm. a bunch of wine. Mm. And I, I, I cup count. I stopped counting after the eighth time of vomiting and shitting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! I was and this is like during deliberations for like game of the year during GameSpot, and oh, I was like, fun. I can't fucking miss this. So I was like in bed, uh, blowing. Uh, I was like a fire hose from both ends. Yeah, and <laughs> like, a fire, like a fire hydrant that bursts off at both sides. Sure. Um, anyways, I so. I'm not allergic, but there is, there does seem to be some uh, toxins that are not don't right. digest well with me, especially when I consume dairy. So, if you ever see me only drinking Jameson, that is literally because it's the only thing that does nothing to me. Oh now, Jameson specifically, That's... or just whiskey? Jameson specifically. Wow. Man, what a curse! What an absolute. I know. It'd be a lot of what though? Like out of all the alkies, like I think I the tolerance for Jamie is a little higher for whatever reason for me as well. I have a friend who only drinks Jameson. Yeah, you were saying also. that the other day. Yeah, yeah. I don't you know should ask them if they can James. drink beer and wine. But like. I don't know. Uh, that's why if you see me, there was like a giant bob at night, maybe for the Game Awards or some Game Fest. I just had a bottle of Jameson with me because oh like, yeah, my designated oh, bottle. That I was like, yeah, we were all drink. we were all gossiping about that. We didn't want to say. Anything. I know. I also dropped that bottle. Like I said, <laughs> cool dude, Kurt. Uh, that is the move walking right there. Just bottle of Jameson <laughs> walking around with Jamo in his hand so and his problems in the other. 
<laughs> you know? Yeah, when the, the the problems of my fire hoses. So I can't <laughs> drink wine anymore, and I feel red wine specifically, and it uh, breaks my heart a little bit. I miss it. I have, so like, did you I make... did, did you cover white oh. wine? What was the white? I don't drink that mean? shit. Yeah, oh. that's not that. <laughs> Oh, excuse oh, me. I, I also don't. Drink I guess we wine. won't nah. be enjoying a Riesling anytime soon. No, absolutely not. I, like, <laughs> I mean, we, I could put Jameson in a wine glass and we could. That's you know. fancy. Ugh. Cheers. I mean, Riesling Cheers. is basically fruit punch. I get it. Oh, gross. But red wine gives me agenda. Or what? Agenda. <laughs> it gives me an agenda. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. Uh, to be clear, I don't. Uh, I don't drink Riesling. I don't drink wine either. But uh, I will. I'll. I've had that, and it's very sugary and sweet. So we'll never have a share a glass. <laughs> we will never share a glass. I'll drink Jameson with Jameson. you at Summer Games Fest. There we whatever. go. All right. I have I'm a bottle it. ready. Don't worry. Go. I think I've I only know. ever shot Jameson. I don't know what it would be like to just with a gun. It. <laughs> <Tax -based>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with, with a twelve gauge. <laughs> I've only. It's the only interaction I've had with Jamo. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, thank you, caller. And I'm sorry to hear about your allergies to wine, Kurt. That's upsetting, but we all have Move our problems, on. don't I drink we? Jameson. <laughs> Good. Uh, I will choose next, and I will choose because uh, I'm such a freak skate harder. Backlart. I'm almost 36. I just started uh, playing ice hockey a little under two years ago. Uh, I've improved a lot, uh, but my fitness and stamina are still absolute fucking dog shit. I got nothing left in the third period, man. My my legs are like logs. What can I do other than you know more ice time? Like what what exercises would you recommend to help with me not being such an out of shape piece of shit so I can skate harder and longer? Thanks. Bye. I love how like I'm somehow <laughs> the source for this information. Look, fix his body. I'm, I'm you hit the ice more than any of us, I'm going to assume. It's true. Yeah, I mean, I definitely skate. Like, there's no answer. Look, you know, you got to, like, you have to do other. If you want that, you have to do more exercising outside of hockey. My only real exercise is hockey. I play three times a week, so I'm in what people in their early 40s would call hockey shape, which Bad. is basically... I can play, like last night I played two hours, which is crazy. And I really felt awful at the end of it. But like I was able to last and do it and play with kids who were like 10 years younger than me. You just have to keep doing that. There is hockey shape and then there is like real in shape, which I am not real in shape. I am just in hockey shape. If I throw like a single dart at a dartboard, I will collapse and just not be able to like to do it. Right? If I swing one golf club, my body will crumble. My body is so specifically only used to playing hockey that any other athletic maneuvering would kill me where I stand, is what I believe to be true. But yeah, man, you just got to keep skate as much as you can. You will get better. You will be able to last long. Be able to last longer if you <laughs> skate more. And also do uh, cardio outside of uh My of friend, buy a jump rope. There you go, man. Rocky? Yeah, just like Rocky. Just jump some rope. Ooh. That's it. Hey, there, you uh, up the stairs? Dan? Oh, of course we went up the stairs. I have a video of Dan going up the stairs that we're, I'm furiously editing. How many, other people going up the too, huh? yeah. <laughs> How many other people are going up the stairs in wrestling shirts while you were there? Oh, man. Um, I felt bad about this. Uh, what? Well, okay. So I'm waiting for Dan to go up the stairs because he shoot, oh, no. ran from his hotel to the steps. I got there early. Um, and you know, Philadelphia, there's a bunch of wrestling fans in town because of mania, a lot of, uh, 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 bigger folks wearing like NWO or DX shirts would get oh, no. super jazzed and juiced and excited to like run up the Rocky steps. And I saw that vigor. And then by the, by the second flight, they were completely gassed and had to stop. Oh no. <laughs> And some of them did not persist and finish the rocky steps that they kind of just stopped, took a picture there, turned around and from where walked they away. stood. Talk oh, about just... like just robbing 
the entire point of going up those steps to the top. Oh, that's well, the wait a second. Don't shit forget, I've ever in the beginning of that movie, Rocky he has a hard time it. with the steps, too. But so the, this is, then, they're going to come back but, later. Maybe they came back tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to say a lot of those people did not come back the wait next a minute. day. Rocky couldn't make it upstairs at some the point. First, no, the first, the first movie because I actually watched it recently. Because like he's out of shape and he's like it shows him running around the entire town and like he's just like he's like he's like holding his side and like he gets up the steps but it's a struggle like he's Got like, it. Yeah. going and going and then he's, like he's wheezing half hour later he's like bah, 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 the fucking yeah. music and fists yeah that's and the whole yeah people forget that like and the, shit. yeah the whole reason that's so good is because earlier it was a struggle and then later he's like up there and punching nobody, the air and yeah. skipping around yeah god i like rocky cool Rocky's great I'm happy for everyone in the Rocky camp. I I do I do feel bad. I do feel strangely obligated to like help a better answer the original question again. I, I will also say this to our 36 year old caller: uh, You're not an old man by any stretch. But what I started to do around the time that I turned 35 playing hockey is just get a lot smarter with where you use your energy. You don't need to be racing up and down the ice every shift. Be smart. Be positional. Be, in, try and improve your hockey IQ, and that will allow you to preserve some of that energy for when you're that's really better needed. advice i think that's better advice don't work out well don't work out. do that too but like that is that is how i think i've been able to survive this uh, what about joining an older league so he's the young gun you know i know i've talked about this one day i will be in like the over 40 league i'm not there yet it's maybe like another four or five years but like I, I think that'll boost your ego temporarily. <laughs> I don't want to speak to it long term. That's all I'll say. Okay. I can't promise anything either way there. So be smarter with your skating and your energy. Try that first. Hope that helps. Thank you, caller. We went to chat for the next voicemail, and chat chose ankle socks. Hey, dumpers. I was just looking into the most recent voicemail dump truck, and you guys were talking about how people don't bend the brims of the caps anymore. Oh, my God. And Jeff was saying that it seemed like it was a very boyish thing. And recently I was seeing that ankle socks are no longer trendy, that kids today see that as immature to the same vein as wearing tidy whities So what do you guys think? Anyways, love you. Bye. Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Anyone have an opinion on this? I do if no Wait, one does. Wait, hold on. But ankles, so as an ankle socks, as in they like go above the ankle. Or they uh, below. I think when you describe ankle socks, I think you're describing like socks that terminate somewhere around the ankle. Yeah, it's something in between like the no shows and the full socks. Uh, my opinion is if so, so it's like if my wrist is the ankle, your wrist is the ankle. Let's see it. And like, does the sock stop here? Yeah, I uh, think that's fair. A little, a little further, shorter. Down. like at the yeah. ankle. I think more shorter. like where your watch is. Okay. So sock stops here. That sounded. I just don't for some reason. think they're. I don't ever know if I ever consider them fashionable. Like as in they as in they made a statement. That's uh, mostly just something dads are wearing, like when they're outside somewhere hotter than is normal. I won't say specifically where I'm. And it's of. And, and the weird part is this is an unfortunate day because I always wear like socks that go up above my. I have a very specific how, sock style. How high? Mm -hmm. How high? I mean, like. I, I'm going to show. I'm building up to my ankles. I already showed my ankles already on this. Yeah, they were yeah. really low for free. Yeah, yeah, so I never, I never wear sneakers. Never, Me too, except man. for today. Wow. I always wear boots. Always yeah, wear. Boots. You're a boot guy. Yeah, I'm a boot guy. Always a boot guy, and I wear red socks. That's my shtick. Like my watch, I wear red sh socks. And today, I was like, I'm going to be a little bit more calm because like, I'm, I'm be going on the dump truck. truck. I'm going to yeah. dump truck. And yeah. so I wore my shit shoes. <gasps> Look, he wore shit shoes. And Please. I'm wearing socks, but you just can't see them. The, the no shows. shows. The, the no, no show the technology no has gotten so good, there's no point to wear the ankles anymore. Yeah. So that's, and that's basically what I'm trying to say is can't see them. Yeah, you don't yeah, know where they yeah, are. But that. I'm wearing yeah. them. And the point that I'm trying to make is it's either you see them or you don't. Oh, okay. well, of course. How else could they exist, <laughs> right? Like, uh, I, interesting. So I think growing up, on the East Coast, it was always from? ankle socks. Did you notice that, Kurt? I didn't participate in what the other kids were doing. 
you you just you just I I respect that you're on your you you had blinders on to the rest of the world. Ankle right? socks are definitely more of a thing for a yeah. while, but again, I think the no shows have just really been having a moment. To me, West Coast kids were always like high socks kids, for yeah. sure. Yeah, like that's always been a thing mm. for me. Tube but socks. now here, it's high socks is the thing, mm. for uh, sure. I don't know if this made it to where y'all were, but a fad for a while was faking ankle socks. So we would take our high socks, and oh, if this is down? the uh, this is the the foot, right? Yeah. We would, you know, yes. what, let me just grab a sock to, to grab I know, socks. I know exactly what it is. I think well, I faked that before. So I there was also a trend about. of like almost knee high socks with shorts. That I never with did. like with like long shorts with the stripes at the top. No, no uh, what the socks? Yeah, with the stripes yeah. at the top of the socks. Were you? Did you know that, Jam? Were you part of that? Which one? With like high, like like uh, knee high socks with long shorts. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Oh totally. Like, this okay. is how you fake yeah. it. This is not what I was expecting. You just so, only put half the sock on. So th how we would do it, and this would, th we thought we were all cool for doing this, is we would put our sock further down up to the ankle, and then take the rest of the excess sock and fold it in what to the, the top. Fuck this is this is <laughs> no what no the no hell no no. I'm wait, telling you. How could that be your no. foot? I don't understand. But, what wait, do you and, mean? You, and you like shared this among each other. They're like, yeah, yo, no, we, this I was this is my what, long sock. This what is what everyone hell? was doing in elementary <laughs> wait, into middle school. How does this exist? I don't understand. No. So cause then because then you you know you don't gotta buy ankle socks because you just have like a sock, <laughs> but, and I mean, this but, goes into the shoe. The, so I always sock thought a more logical itself. But I always thought a more logical way because I know I know what you're talking about with making an ankle sock. But I yeah. would like put the sock on all the way and then just fold it down. Yeah, just roll it down a little bit. But like, but like you know, just like it would like eat itself. You yes. know, like the skin would go back over it. So I, I think right. this was to avoid like any chunkiness happening Except with the that sock. Except it looks chunky. But it's on the top. You wouldn't see it. Yeah. He's right. Look. It works. It, it would so, work. It's so still bad. stupid. But it's the sock foreskin that you're trying to eliminate, <laughs> is it not? Now I feel dirty having this on my hand. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but the thing was, you know, back then we would all be wearing unlaced sneakers or like mm, not sure. tie our shoes to be cool sure. so they'd be puffy. So this excess sock foreskin here wouldn't really matter or affect the, the comfortability factor of the shoe. Huh. Wow. That's wild. I, you know, I, I have a, uh, there's a good chance that Michael Heim also did this. Oh, yeah. 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 He probably does that now. Yeah. I, I, you know, I had to, do, I, I did this recently and then it felt like, uh, like, oh, wow. I felt, feel back home. Huh. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, look, this was educational from like every point of view. Fashion <laughs> history is important. Let's not forget okay, it. I do think we have our. I do think we have our show title though, and it's got to be sock four skin dot mp three. Is it not like <laughs> that's, that's okay? Just making sure. Thanks, uh, ABC. Kurt, you're also a boot man. Um, part of the reason why I don't like wearing sneakers is not just because of the drip and the the Steve's factor, but because I don't like my delicate ankles being exposed. Is that the mm. same for you? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, good talk. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Damn it. Got it. Got it. I actually, I find, I mean, I know how you said you were like, oh, you were, you wore boots to the wrestling thing and it killed your feet. I'm the absolute opposite. Where if I wear sneakers, they will fucking kill my feet. Interesting. But my really? boots have formed. I feel like my boots have formed so well to me because I wear them. I've been wearing them every single day for years now. You have like, one boot, right? You that's. I have, it. so it's I have just... two boots. I have two boots. Okay. But yeah, well, you have I, two feet. I get it, but like, you, I mean, one pair, right? Like, you have one pair. I have, I have four boots. <laughs> okay, two <laughs> pairs. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We're on the same page. We're on the same page. Yeah. But I, there's days where I would, I stop wearing sneakers because I realize they fucking destroy my feet. And living in San Francisco and walking up hills like constantly. Yeah. Um, I swear by the old, the old malleable boot that yeah. forms it, to your foot. It's done, it's gone a long way for me. I can't go back. Except for yeah. today when I wore my shit shoes. And so my, when you get home, are your feet going to be all messed up and like they weird? They kind of feel and... already messed up right now. Oh, damn, yeah. dude. But I was like, it's kind of warm here. And I was like, maybe I will show some ankle. I'm not insecure about my ankle. Yeah. Let me show an ankle. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll roll my jean up once more. Oh, see? You can learn something from Kurt Jan. 
You could. <laughs> no, See, Jan can be whoever Jan wants to be. And if you're if if you feel weird by your ankles, but you feel the need you want to show them, let's work together to make sure you can show them and feel good about it. Thank See, you, Kurt. That's really inspiring. I think I can't. Do, I cannot get away with ankle cleavage in the way that like everyone can. <laughs> I think you could. No, if you, Jen, my, if you cuff up my, your pants, show, dude, my, I think you my ankles it. are 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 a, a hue of white. That <laughs> like you, I don't think camera technology has caught up with the no. lack of like color, like the you processing the power. All over yeah, yeah, like, oh, zebra pattern for show days, the dude. Ankle show. No, the it's, just, ankle. it's just not gonna happen because I don't want to freak out anyone who's like watching <laughs> the stream for the first time. Like I cannot. I cannot do that to people. But oh, people doing the Ben Star emote. <laughs> oh, the Ben Star. The Ben Star emote is charitable <laughs> compared to what my ankles look like. I mean, even my like, look at my arm. Like, it's insane. <laughs> oh, it's it. okay. It's okay, Jack. I, Sorry, I'm not. Good. I'm not proud of it. Like, I look. This is what happens when you like avoid the sun in the manner in which I do. Right? Like. Anyway, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. Kurt, oh, time God. for you to pick probably what's going to be your last voicemail of the day. Choose wisely. I know. He's deep in thought. I, uh, mm. I know. Mm. It's not easy. I feel like, I feel like this would... Mm. I just don't know what it means. Okay. So I'm going to choose one property. Okay. <laughs> Hey y'all, uh, first time long time. So I'm walking in my neighborhood and there's a house that is completely Mario themed. It started with a warp pipe for the kids to go through the fence. They've since added a second warp pipe, question mark blocks, and now a Bowser flag. So my question That's for you is, if you received a large sum of money to remodel your home themed mm -hmm. off of one property, video game or otherwise, what would it be and how would you do it? All right, love you guys, bye. <laughs> it's a great question. You, you ever see like those? There are like the Star Trek uh, super fans who will just sure make the inside of their house look completely like the inside one of those starships. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want that for me sometimes. But specifically, like either <laughs> Next Generation Enterprise D or Deep Space Nine, the space station theme. That's why I don't want any original series Voyager stuff or anything like that. But yeah. Um. Man, I, I, you're, br I love your, you're just so brave. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you also know I like Star Trek? No, I just, I, I don't think I knew that, but it, it kind of doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> you're just, you're just so brave to like say that so fearlessly. Like, yeah, I'm whatever. fucking, I no, that's but like that that's why I question. love you. That's well, why I love you. New you Jersey knew. It's like you've been house. thinking about Great. it. No, I wouldn't have a New Jersey Devil's house. I'm not a child. <laughs> so, like, so your answer is just nothing. No, 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 no. I have an answer. I, I absolutely have an I answer. I would love to hear it. And I want everyone else to go through the house, but that is insane that you were just like, New Jersey Devil's house. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Probably just what it already is. There's like two pendants up on the wall like there. <laughs> There. <laughs> he did hey, can we make this kitchen nothing but ice? That'd be cool. <laughs> Does that work? What kind of cooling system you need in here for that <laughs> hockey house? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so. Oh, this is so fucking sick. Look, I'll be honest. The the fucking thing at uh, Galaxy's Edge, that bar. Oh, Ogus oh, Cantina. Yeah, Yo, Cantina. that'd be sick for one room. That would be sick. Yeah, I think it would be a one room thing. It's kind of hard to do the entire house like that. Like, yeah. I, I don't know if I want to sleep surrounded by that much visual stimulation. <laughs> right? Like, everywhere you go are like beep boop lights and shit. Like, come on. That right. would drive you crazy after a while. You'd be like, yeah. I shouldn't have done any of this. You know, you yeah. just. <laughs> Honestly, I would just need like one nicely themed like bar area. Sure, go. Sure, Everything else can go. look like a house with like pictures of my like family and friends and stuff. <laughs> and you know, every once in a while, sure, I'll, I'll have a, a framed uh, shell of a GameCube controller hanging up somewhere. But that's fine. Sure, um, Jan, do you have an answer for this? I don't know. At the coffee shop. <laughs> That's, that's tasteful. From not what? like a Starbucks. Not like a Starbucks. Like no, a, like no, a, like no. a mom and pop one. Like an independent like one. Cafe Nervosa. Uh, no, no. I, I don't sure. know. 
like uh I, I there's this one uh coffee shop here in the city that i like a lot i like their design aesthetics come on talk to me what one is it well uh, sight glass on 20th yeah sight glass is cool yeah yeah just uh, some nice like subway tiles some wood ornate oh, furniture. I like does there have a caribou coffee there i like how they're themed like ski lodges they're cozy in there i, I don't believe so mike oh, okay but the cozy cozy factor is huge, right? If it's your living space, you want a lot of pillows. I would like, of, like warmth. A, a booth in my house, you know, oh, like a diner Wait, booth. Do you want somebody yeah. attending yeah. it all time? No, no, it's fine. I can. I, it could be a self serve type of okay. type of place. You're slowing I mean, it up. Wow. But, I mean, was the I mean, but was the intention of the question to like did it have to be based off a of property, like a like yeah. a licensed property? Yeah, I, I mean, think that's helpful. But yeah. like, you okay, know, the Denny's. <laughs> no, no, a video. I think it was like, was it video game? Video oh no, game it wasn't or movie. It's anything. Yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. What's the uh, most coffee? I mean, I gave you Cafe Nervosa from Fraser, and you shot it down real fast. So, La Central Perk, other... Central Perk. Oh, I don't want Central Perk. <laughs> it's just, I don't want that. The first one that popped into my head. No, it's yeah, huge. me too. What do you mean? It's a huge coffee place that could <laughs> never exist in Manhattan. People just hang out there in the middle of the day. They don't it's have a, anything to do. <laughs> it's two o'clock and it's packed. Um, hmm. Okay, what about you, Kurt? Well, I'm still fixated. I was like, I just want to imagine that this caller just saw, like, Super Nintendo Land being built in his backyard and thought of someone's house. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep thinking yeah. that. It's like, I just keep walking by and they just keep installing all these Mario-themed things. So many guests um, over. I, this is, the question's fucking, I don't know. I, I care a lot about my space. And if I have to, like, base it off of a property... Cause like if I think about like my dream, I probably would want a, just a giant concrete room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so just like real Russian, <laughs> Russian uh, uh, brutalist. In, in, You're going in to prison with me. <laughs> I would like. I mean, like if we were just talking about money to do something, I'd probably make a big concrete room with big windows in the middle of the forest. That sounds nice to me. Okay. I but saw a trailer for that movie, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> but I was hoping. I was trying to think like property or game and this is like i don't know i this is like easy kurt core shit which is probably like grim fandango sure. okay like but but that's like basically san francisco anyways there's like art deco buildings based off of fair in right. you got me with grim fandango though but like act two rubicava oh. so blue casket you know if that was yeah. like the bar at blue casket was like my uh in, you know Got my, it. That would be sick. That I think yes. that's my answer. I think Man. I would want it to be like areas of of Grim Fandango. Oh, you like just that. killed Sp it with parts that. put into certain rooms. So Rubicava, uh, like oh, I mean even like the Rick Rick's place or like Manny's place in this case. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I said, I said fuck it. I went to Casablanca instead. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was just going full Casablanca. I, I like slot. Good. I like I like a little gambling in my life, which is why I like Vegas. So I could have a I could put some of that in there. Yeah, bet on the cat races. Yeah, exactly. So that's my answer. We got there. That's that's that is one of the all time great video game aesthetics. You ever played Grim Fandango? Everybody, get to Act Two of Four, Rubicava at night. It is breathtaking. It's so it, good. It's great. I I do. I would like to revisit it. I wonder if I could play well, it with Dib. I've never played it. So oh, Ooh, I mean, I, so they remastered I, it. Like you know six or so years ago so it just runs on everything now cool with like better controls and an in-game hit system of uh, that is still one of the best video games ever absolutely i like Number hearing that for I, me I, for whatever nice. reason nice kurt i associate like the beetle just juice waiting room with grim fandango for some yeah, reason yeah oh. it's a bit of that it's because it's like hey it's the the afterlife's real but there's like still bureaucracy and like, yeah there's hey, still like, like yeah, 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 yeah right? there's still red tape right yeah because the whole thing is like you play as because like manny calavera is a Grim Reaper. Right. In this world, he's Grim Reapers are travel agents. Yeah, he's just mm. punching a clock. Yeah. To you know, to basically figure out what your travel package is to the to the, your eternal resting place. It's so um, good. It's so fucking good. It's one of like great. the best realized video game worlds ever. Oh, That's great. awesome. I, yeah, I got I got a I got a travel bag, Jen. You and me were doing it, baby. I wouldn't mind having uh, a room or maybe a vacation home themed after the overlook hotel from the shining minus oh, the haunted hey, stuff yes. i'm into that no, no, i no, like no. that I'm a bring lot the, bring the weird stuff because okay. that was kind of going to be my answer like i and I, I think i need to workshop the answer 
But in, uh, speaking of workshop, I mean, we oh, ooh, Grim Jandango. I like that. Jandango. Writings on the wall. Or Jerf Jandango. Ooh. Jerf Jandango. No, um, we put The Shining on as like a comfort movie. <laughs> yeah, of course. I've done that too. Just, just, yeah. it's, it's not, it's not it's, a very gory horror No, it's a feel no, good but it movie. Has a, but it's, yeah, it's about family. You know, it coming, is about to, family. coming together. It's about family and typewriters. I mean, look. Sure, it's not a gory movie, but. The tension is undeniable, it's, right? Oh, yeah. But yeah. it feels so cozy, you know, trapped there, in, a, yeah. in a big giant There's hotel. There's an inescapable coziness about the Overlook, right? Like inescapable is the key word. <laughs> yes. Um, is it is this, it more messed right. up that like I think the thing is a little cozy too? The little outpost yeah. out in Antarctica yeah. because it's a tight <laughs> space, you know. Yeah. Too far from He's me. drinking whiskey and playing chess. Yeah, that's fun. Computer I, chess. I always wanted to have a very creepy home. I uh, and I need help ring. here. Like I want, I don't want the cobwebs, but okay. I want like the gothic, like you know, wood and black walls kind you of. Need thing. more candelabras then. Yeah, I need candelabras. I need like very limited like sunlight, of course, but uh, just 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 that i need it's got to be dark it's got to be like warm though it's got to be cozy so it's not like adam's family where like adam's family is just like this horrific like sure, cold sure. place sure where it's, it's just more like, monsters oh 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 what is it oh kurt's got i knew you well would I, I mean have you have you i feel like i talked about this movie all the time have you ever seen the movie legend the ridley scott no. movie after blade runner no so I don't the, think there's so. a character in it it's i fucking love this movie people do not like it i like it is Tom Hardy in it? Is it the Tom Hardy? That movie? not no. that one. <laughs> no. Okay. No. It, this one is in the eighties. Okay. Oh. Uh, Tom Cruise is in it wearing like a leafy leotard. Tim Curry plays a giant muscly demon looking dude. Oh. Cool. But his route, like his 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 like home is okay. this giant black painted and like with glitter. It like it it glistens. Oh. And like huge pillars made of black and like it looks almost like it's like made out of glittery obsidian it's wow fucking, i fucking love that movie and i love that scene but it's later in the movie and i think you should look at that there's a giant fireplace a big table to have a giant meal at yeah i want that i want like huge like obscenely comically large fireplace this this is it this is it this yeah is it. okay cool someone said in chat like <laughs> the what we do in the shadows house and i'm just like maybe it, it, in its original state uh before it was just sort of like taken over you know in in decrepit but yeah okay that feels good wayne manor in the first batman very good i like that. oh i, I would think say that's, that's good. pretty rock solid i think yeah, that's yeah. on brand for sure um Giant ooh, that what rooms. a good question this was thank you caller i really do mean that excellent excellent job everyone uh, up caught that's it you want to live inside Epcot, Mike? Yeah, it's like a whole Epcot theme. There's just want to live in a big golf ball. Like, oh, future world, not you know, if I say countries, that is just any aesthetic ever. So yeah, is that Epcot. a practical space to live inside? A big golf ball? Is that like? Yeah. Is that smart? Great. I'll put yeah. all the important stuff in the bottom of the golf ball. So and, you know, there's already a drainage system in it for the rainwater. It's very fascinating. I could tell you more about it later. I would watch. I would watch a 15-minute YouTube video about that. That's all I'll give you. Oh, they exist. Trust me. There's lots of YouTube videos with fun facts about Spaceship Earth. Don't worry. I did get into a. Uh, we talked about this, but I did get into a rabbit hole of like the urban exploration scene around uh, closed parts of Disney. Oh World. yeah, that was a big thing. They finally really kind of clamped down on that. People actually started getting into real trouble. <laughs> yeah, send them to jail is what I say. Uh, getting out of, they're starting to steal things. Oh, that's well. Okay. Almost getting eaten by crocodiles. Yeah, it became a Oh, problem. fun. Right, it's dangerous. Um, okay, Mike, you're that's, up. Uh, earliest internet memories. Hi. I just want to know, what is like your guys's like earliest internet memories for me it's like going on game facts and seeing like information that was like totally false and like trying to do stuff and like um backing of time and not working because it was all made up shit <laughs> um and also like um albino black sheep like like the end of the world and like <laughs> hamburgers and beer um so anyways what is your earliest internet memory Oh, this is a real long yeah, answer. It's definitely to this. America Online 
as yeah. a kid, I think uh, Green Boy 888 was my first like handle on there because green's my favorite color, and I was a boy. So that's why uh, Persona is a big deal to you. Yeah, now. that's why I that Persona okay. 6 thing, that's a big deal. And you uh, love angel numbers, so that's yeah. why you get went with 888. <laughs> there was like, because uh, like, you didn't have sites on there, you had like portals or whatever. So I'd go to like the Kids WB portal a lot. And like chat in the chat rooms and be in the message boards. I remember there was like a real big thread, like there should be a Calvin and Hobbes show, and we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> we're gonna petition through this kids WB AOL board, and I really believed in that power. And then like sometimes I went to the MTV portal, and it was like, uh, are you 18? And I lied, and I went Whoa. in there anyways. And it was we got like, a badass here. Man. Then like the other one was like watching like video footage of the Atlanta City or not of the uh of the uh bombing that happened at the olympics that happened at some point then and like seeing the it fuck? like this tiny I mean, window oh, in, and, like, 1996 watching the news. in atlanta yeah and then the other distinct one was seeing uh, similar a trailer for nights into dreams on the sega saturn off of CompuServe. uh that was a very big deal at the time oh you're making me feel old man yeah yeah we were we were in on all this pretty early we were a computer affluent uh family you did this this is not my earliest memory but you did bring up a very vivid memory of a, my brother's obsessive horror films. It was obsessive, like our entire family was basically, but he was the horror dude. And he, this had to be 1998, 1999. He could not fucking wait for Jason X. It was <laughs> like all he cared about. But because of dialed up internet at the time, they released the trailer on the internet first before movie theaters. And it was like a big deal in that trailer. Yeah. Had like, let the body set the flow song. But, because our internet was so shit, he had to like load it up over like an hour, Hell yeah. and then he had to keep it open mm. so he could continue watching it and studying it until one day my dad restarted the computer and he oh. had a fucking meltdown. Despite he could just reload it up again, <laughs> but it was just such an arbitrary, silly thing to have to be like, "Don't close that window. Don't close it. You can't close the Jason X trailer." Anyways, not my earliest memory, but it just remind me of early days of fucking nonsense. Uh, Jan, your, what's your first memory? Uh, I, can't, I can't think of my first memory, but maybe Star Wars prominent. Kid? No, no. <laughs> first prominent memory was probably uh, God. It was a. Uh, it was a rap. I don't think it was on YouTube. It's probably some flash site. It was a uh, got rice, and then like you know, I went to a heavily Asian uh, school growing up, and. Uh, Everyone knew all the words to this "Got Rice" rap, um, and it was it was set to the tune tune. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot what song it was, but it it blew up my little school. It was it was insane. Ow. Oh wait, it went someone viral. linked it. Somebody someone found it already. It. That's yeah. It's this one. Oh my Asian God. pride got rice. Yes. Is it weird seeing it again after all this time? Oh, it's uh, the changes. That? Oh yes, it's the changes. Oh my God! Yeah. God, I I don't want to play this because I, I yeah that seems yeah. problematic, but <laughs> yeah, it seems yeah it seems right for problem. <laughs> um, I will age myself. Uh, like ICQ, IRC. Oh yeah. Um, definitely AOL, but AOL. See, that's here's where it's I I'm old. AOL was like after the beginning of my internet experience, mm. where like. First, it was just a dial-up ISP, and then yeah. I never dialed into AOL. I always like just connected into AOL through my uh, existing um, ISP provider, connection. Yeah. You know, like you could do that. You could bring your own internet to AOL, right? Because it was a portal in a lot of ways. Because it was just you know to so many people, and still to people in this house, AOL was just the internet. That was just right. like the internet. You, it, was. it was just a very curated thing, and everyone was like, well, I guess this is uh, what the internet is. It's just sort of like a mall, you know? So it, that whole time so interesting because, like, AOL seemed like, well, this is the biggest company in the world now, and it's going to always be this giant thing, and they had that giant merger with Time Warner, and then yeah. that was a disaster, yep. and AOL had no real answer to, like, cable modems and stuff like that, and it just, you know, basically went away. Um Gosh, I, I I get re like I found the whole like early internet stuff really fascinating. I think about the Netscape Navigator logo a Hell yeah. lot. That you, is what, a, you you think about it a lot. What do you mean? Yeah, that's a very pretty logo. Have you seen it, the Netscape the, Navigator when it logo? When would animate? 
Especially when it animated in the browser. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then but you even the... just like as a still image, that is a beautiful, like all time great logo. <sighs> just like the N in the in the green and black hillside. Yeah. Like, that's... So, yeah. And it's kind of like spacey. And it's got that real pleasant like a uh, uh, green, kind of like an aqua, but a little bit of a green in there. And it's very rounded. Everything was rounded in the early days of the internet. Now everything's very sharp and angular, uh, and I and flat, and I don't like it as much. I miss uh, I miss the title animations for Windows Movie Maker. It, it just mm, harkens oh, sure. back to such a special place. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many. Th- IRC was. Uh, I was a big fan of. I was in a um, Lucas Arts adventure game community mm. very early on. Uh, Kurt, uh, International House of Mojo, Mix and Mojo. Oh, I, I know about that. Yeah, Scumbar, and uh, so I remember oh, Scumbar yeah. uh, IRC channel, like Dominic Armato, the voice of Guyver Super, would just come in there and hang out with us no a way. bunch of times, and we like, got him to do a, a birthday <laughs> greeting for my younger brother. How were you able to prove it brother. was him? Well, he spoke. And oh, he, he spoke? Yeah, he, like, he oh, did okay. messages for us. For, like, That's cool. That's sweet. Yeah, he was very nice, uh, and we all had our own website. Mine was hosted on Angel Fire, because like, everyone had to have their own Monkey Island fan site, and they were all identical, but we all like had to learn... How to use whatever software that was, so we can have our own. That we gave each, we were in web rings, and we gave each other like fake awards that were just just early NFTs, I guess. Nineties uh, 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 internet was amazing. It was fun times. It was cool. It was very slow, and I was. and everyone also, was painfully was, aware of that, right? And it was, but it was also filled with like, I mean, not that the internet's, I mean, the internet's filled with horrible things now, but there's, it was far easier to just walk into something. I probably accident. didn't yeah. anticipate the yeah. walk into. Yeah. yeah. And that's like always the thing I think about because like I don't really I don't know what my earliest memory is. I guess like it would be like I always had memories of my dad playing Doom and like the dial up of that because basically being like like you have to take the phone off the hook if you yeah. want to play Doom online with your friends. So you just <laughs> had to be like and then the, cool the match would end and you would have to call his friends. Be like, oh, okay, that was sick. All right, okay, let's go again. And then hang up and then take the phone off the hook for to do dial up. So like to me, that's like what I guess is like my earliest thing. But then also down we we own games, don't worry, but downloading ROMs was a very <laughs> also sure, a sure, very sure. early internet memory. But also just being like, I'm on the internet. Oh, now I'm seeing a person do something to themselves i didn't anticipate the be yeah. seeing jet right no. now Look, the, the porn thing was like super fast even yeah. like yes. th- like that will be the thing that defines maybe part of my generation is like oh yeah just watching boobs render like yes. seeing boobs go from pixels to clarity yeah, it used and to like just, be like line by line, just like waiting like, for it, just sitting there waiting for the boobs. <laughs> you know, it's like they're you know like your eyes lit up in a, such a special way, Mike. It's, yeah, yeah. I, I, look, just, I, spoke, get into I just it, spoke yeah, to Mike. Like, we finally bonded. After I was all these twelve. Years. I was no, there. Like, and and I don't mean it in like a in a weird like. It just that was the thing. Like it, that was a thing. That was a memory for sure. Also, like downloading sounds from movies like sound bites from movies oh and just like like all these like tommy boy sounds i like it's funny I, I found a bunch of hard drives and i could only grab like kind of weird gifts off it and stuff and everything else was kind of like pointless and useless but like it was very weird going into a hard drive from 1997 oh, boy. and like excavating to, you know you used to download really like obnoxious windows 95 or 98 themes where yes like, like mm. i had a space balls theme so like you open up the computer and it's like they're going to plaid like every time you Hell click yeah. the mouse it would do some annoying sound effect from the movie it was incredible yeah you could totally geo anything you could just make everything look like absolute horseshit and that was the thing everyone knew like that's the unique thing about it and i don't think i'm saying this through the uh advantage of like looking at it through the through the present like I think 90s internet, everyone was very self-aware that this was very bad, but it's going to get better. You know what I mean? Like, everyone, I think, collectively was, like, consciously aware. Well, it was about, getting better, like, constantly. It was, like, getting faster. So fast, yeah. And, like, we knew that cable modems were, were coming, and some people had them, and they were going to... I remember my, my older brother would just call the cable company, like every other day just like saying hey or do we have the cable modem yet They'd be like, no <laughs> and like eventually just one day they said yes and then we had that it's like oh i guess this is just uh significantly faster now forever yes. that's nice 
That that is the key clarifier. We're talking speed. We're not talking like quality of the internet. No. We're talking just like the experience of speed and like seeing like did the thing work right? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, crazy stuff. Um, this has been wonderful, folks. We're gonna do one more voicemail from chat, and then we will say our goodbyes. Chat chose um, neighbor's bird. What up, dumpers? Greg from Phoenix here. So I have been at war with my neighbor's bird for the last year and a half. Uh, he's a bird in the backyard. I've been able to identify it. Uh, it makes this loud, screechy noise every day at 4 o'clock when I'm enjoying my dad nap in my chair in the living room. And uh, I hate that bird. And so uh, I've been trying to use the Merlin app to identify him, but even the app is like, we don't know what the hell this bird is. So I finally took a picture of him today and, uh, I'm going to figure out who this bird is, and then uh, take him down because I'm tired of this damn bird. Anyways, uh, kill birds bird. are the enemy. What do you mean hey, you're going to take it down? Yeah, he's going to kill the bird. Is it not clear? He's going to kill, gonna kill is it a bird. Is it a pet bird? No. But it sounds like a pet bird. He said neighbor's bird, right? That doesn't. I don't think it's ownership. a pet bird. I think it's a bird that lives in like the neighbor's yard. All right. No, there's no emotional or, attachment or, to this bird. Or a man dressed as a bird. <laughs> Well, that yeah, was, that's why he can't do, don't yeah. kill that bird but listen i'm also not pro killing birds just cats no kidding 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 but what i do think you have to find out what this animal is we need to d understand the ownership situation and then of course yeah you you got to take that kill bird it. out you got to take that bird out i mean like but what difference would it have made if he knew what kind of bird it was or not? In well, that's, that's how you, you, that's how you discover enemy. how to like, find out its yeah, weaknesses. Yeah. That's the yeah, exactly. sure. You've got to find the, the heat, the heat <laughs> points. You know, the, yeah, the of right. Like you got to find out where this, where this bird's uh, weaknesses lie. Right. Got it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't like the idea of someone's thing in their backyard bothering you every day when you're trying to sleep. That yeah. upsets me. Well, how long do birds live? Is this bird just going to die soon, anyways? Some birds I think can birds live a can, long yeah, ass I think they time. They live a long really? time, man. They're little. Just, they're so tiny, and the little hearts beat so depending, much. I would think, like, depending. Because yeah. when he says neighbor's bird, I know we may have thought that it's a bird in someone's backyard. But when I hear neighbor's bird, I hear pet yeah. bird. Yeah. And pet birds, depending on the type of bird you get, those motherfuckers can right. <laughs> like over hundred yeah. parrots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, don't let's not kill a pet, but. <laughs> Unless it's a cat. Right. Right. What? But also, what we should do, no, like call you're gonna have to call back with more information here. We we send need us to the help picture. You. Yeah, send yeah. us the picture. We'll get the Merlin it's experts gonna be big on this. Bird. <laughs> it's just gonna be big bird. It's just like bird. turkey vulture, right? All of a sudden. That's wild. Um don't kill birds, okay, folks. We don't want anyone to uh, confuse the chickens? messaging here. Kill chickens. Well, that's uh, you know. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, what if it's pet chickens? I think you I couldn't hope identify that you'd be able to identify them. You couldn't identify a chicken? We, I, I've only could, ever seen them cooked. Wait, could, does Merlin have the ability to identify a chicken? Probably, yeah. He's a bird. I just, I just want to see like Merlin spit back, like, bro, that's a chicken. What are you doing? Like, come on, you don't. Know hey, what a chicken I, I was, like? I was uh, excited to see birds in Philly. I'm like, oh, what bird are you? Let me listen. Uh, look at these East Coast birds with their yeah. chain wallets and bad attitudes. And their ankle socks. <laughs> and their ankle socks. It's called oh, a callback. It's coming back. Birds are always the first in the fashion trends. We all know that. Kurt Indovina, thank you so much for being here. Where can people find you? What do you got going on? Tell us the story right now. I, I, I can, if you think hard enough. I might appear in your thoughts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. I like Damn. that. I like that. <laughs> no one saw that coming. Hell wow. yeah. Yeah. Hell uh, yeah. I have nothing. Uh, I have nothing. Go I mean, I have things going on, but I'm a man behind the curtains. I write Kurt things. Tins. I Kurt tins. <laughs> oh, I write God. things. That's good. I do. I do. You can find me at GameSpot.com or something of that nature. You'll uh, whatever. I'll I'll be around if you want to like. Look at the art I do. That's cool too. You can go follow me on Instagram. And look at my Good comics. Art. That's that's a thing I'll plug. But you yeah, know, either that or again, go to sleep tonight thinking about me, and maybe I'll come hang out with you. Yeah, you'll manifest. 
Wow. All right. I didn't know that about you. I'm not going to do anything with that information. It's just good to know. Uh, Mike Minotti, thanks for being here, pal. Thanks for having me. It's always fun to dump with you. Likewise. Jen Ochoa, what do we got going on uh, next week? There's something we should mention, right? Exactly. Folks, we're going to have another special guest on the the dump truck. If you are at all on TikTok or the Instagram Reels, somehow, for some reason, uh, Chef Reactions will be joining us. So please send in your food-related voicemails uh, for Chef Reactions. Uh, Dan will be there. Mike Minotti will be there. And then Jeff Backler is going to have to grate his teeth the whole time. <laughs> Chef Reactions seems like a, someone told me once we were like doppelgangers, but I don't buy it. I think it's just like glasses and hat guy. You know? uh, we're not there, all there's, the same. Like a, there's like a surly attitude there. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it actually just going to be Jeff? <laughs> it, it's gonna be it's Jeff just, in a chef yeah. coat. <laughs> yeah, secrets have and other and Jeff Backler couldn't make it, but this this guy could. It's, just, it's my it's my side hustle. It's when you bring your son to work day. That's the chef. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, hey, this has been great. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Seven oh seven exit flu. That is our phone number. Please do your best to give us a, a call, leave us a voicemail, and maybe, just maybe, we'll listen to you on next week's voicemail dump truck. Thanks again, everyone tuning in live for calling all the chats, and we will see you next week. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.